Okay, in the last video we couldn't complete uh, the adding the the regions, but here you see I have uh, added or inputted the regions and created the relation between region and countries and region and agents. Now let's get started with uh, our drill down reports. So to do that first, let's create a something called a um, hierarchical dimension. So I'll show you what it is. But think about it, if we have to show uh, the, let's say, a sales, rep sales report based on uh, the geography, which will you know, start with country, go to the region, and et cetera, et cetera. So we will first create a, so let's create something called a folder. Maybe under the folder, we will uh, put all the dimension. So folder is a concept, let's say you want to group uh, all the, a certain um, set of query subjects in uh, in a logical grouping, then you create a folder. Just like the way you, you are used to having a folder in, uh, in let's say Microsoft uh, uh, Explorer. Uh, just like you have uh, you know, C drive, under C drive you have different uh, folders, under folders you have different files. So here also we have, uh, let's say, create a folder called dimension. So here we have a dimension folder. I think I haven't created in the right level, so let's, okay, I ended up creating a copy, let's get rid of it. So under dimension, we create a, what do you call a regular dimension. So in regular dimension, first we, so what we do is we create a hierarchy. So let's call our new hierarchy as uh, by location or say just a location. And then we say this is. So you, you just have to fill up, uh, you know, when you create a hierarchy, Cognos by default creates these two levels. And then at the first level, you create an add level. And then you call it country. And then you have to add the item here. So you call, you add the country name, and drop it in this particular one. And here it will ask you the key and member caption. So what you do is that you select key and then you add also member caption here. So what this is doing is really you are adding an elements at different levels of that hierarchy. And this role key and for every uh, level you have to have a key and also a member. So once I, uh, once this is done and I will run it uh, and show you probably things would be a little bit more clear. So anyway, we have added a country. So under country, the next level is region. So let's add region. And then we drag the region name from here. Drag it again here. And then add. So as long as your each and every region is unique, so because region name is unique, then you can just drag region and then had key and also caption, both checked in. If that's not the case, if region name is duplicated, uh, in then in that case, you may have to drag also the ID and define ID as key. And, um, and member caption is checked in only for um, the, the region name. Okay, so under region name, we will have, since we don't have states or any other next level, so we have cells or we just say agent. So we have agent and we drag the agent name here. And we can call it business and check in both uh, because each agent name is unique. So that's pretty much our hierarchy. Now you can test. Let's see if it works. Yep. So you see all locations and you have USA, 
see if you, oh, because we have defined only one country, I mean two countries, but Canada doesn't have any uh, regions. Now somehow we didn't get the agent name here, so we'll have to investigate that. But looks like most of the levels we got. So now as you see, it has created this dimension and it has called new dimension. So you can call it location dimension. So under locations, you have this. It will show you all the country and agents. So now let's figure out why the agent didn't show up. Now one of the region could be the this relation between re region and agents. Let's look at it carefully. So here we are saying region ID. See this is the reason because we are joining region ID with agent ID which is not the right thing to do. So it should be joined with region ID. And let's check the relation uh, cardinalities. Each agent has only one and one region and each region has zero and more agents. Yeah, that looks fine. So so let's hopefully that will fix the uh, this our hierarchy. So let's test again. So you click on the right and click test. Okay, looks like we didn't. Uh, so what happened is I see the test didn't uh, run properly because it just was all location instead of all the rows. It's because we did not click test at the right level. So I think right level is this. So here you, you do test and then it will. So now we are getting all our agents. So you can rename this as agent. This as region let's run the test again to make sure we okay so it looks good so now we have uh, this one defined now just like that we have defined dimensions, we can define also a measure folder. So this is, uh, I'm trying to show you, uh, you know, how in real life, uh, sometimes what we, in some projects, what we do is we create some sort of a folders and logically group all the measures. Uh, so for example, we have here, a measure is basically, you can think it's a fact. So let's, or you can um, create dimension or you can create a shortcut shortcut meaning if you already have the measure defined then you just add uh, let's see if this works so drag this one here let's see what happens no it doesn't allow you looks okay so here I have defined a measure and, and I have put cells as cells amount um, sometimes you know most of the times we don't define a measures like this uh, what we do is that sometimes we create another namespace uh, so just like the way we have a namespace test one we have uh, another namespace. So if you remember the way we define namespaces, sometimes uh, you can have a namespace for uh, uh, so one standard one of the stand conventions is followed is that you define a namespace for uh, which is closely resembles your uh, underlying data structure another which is like a, you know your data underlying database uh, represent the physical uh, model but then you define another namespace which represent more your end user meaning uh, the reports uh, or uh, and there you can define uh, or put columns or put fields uh, which are more end user facing so just think like that maybe in some of the advanced topics we can discuss that uh, but for the timing let's uh, will since this video there is no more time so in our next video what, what we'll discuss is that
will use this uh, dimension and show it how to build a drill down uh, report.